Hi everybody, welcome back to First Impressions. My name is Seth Pomeroy and I just watched The Holdovers, which is a new movie from 2023 that just came out. It's directed by Alexander Payne, who has made many films in the 90s. He was sort of an indie upstart. So his early films were these sort of like satirical comedies with sort of like dark satire to the storytelling. You know, at this point in his career, he's really evolved, I think, into a different kind of storyteller. And you know, I was talking to a friend about his work and I was like, you know, I don't really know what his voices as a director you know and i realized while watching the holdovers that I, I first of all i liked the movie i liked it very much i was not blown away by it but i think that's the point i i don't think his films are meant to be like blow you away it's more like a slice of life the movies sort of have to do with familial experiences they take place over a couple days or a couple weeks it's more like we're going to enter the world of these characters we're going to hang out in the locations that they're in and it's going to unfold with a very calm sort of patient it pace. That's very much like a novel. And I admire the idea that like taking like novelistic approaches for film storytelling, it's very much equivalent of like reading a book that you really enjoyed. You took your time, you moved through it, you got to know these people. And by the end of the book, you felt satisfied. And I see a lot of people reference this movie in relation to like, oh, it's so much like 70s cinema. I don't really think that's true. It feels modern to me. But um, even though it takes place in the 70s, it does present itself as a 70s film. It opens with a 1970s universal look. Logo. And there's these sort of film blips throughout the movie that I wonder if they shot on digital and did that afterwards. My issue with that kind of thing is I feel like it's diminishing the product and sort of putting it in a parody area. I don't think really presenting things like they were shot on film when they weren't or presenting them like they were made in the 70s when they weren't does a lot of help to the filmmaking. To me, that artifice sort of gets in the way of what the film actually is. So I will say when those titles opened, I thought, oh, well, I don't know about that, but I was okay with it. And as the movie went on, I enjoyed the tone and I get why he did it. And I thought all the performances were great. There are a lot of new talent I've never seen before in it, a lot of unknowns, and maybe that was part of the 70s aspect to try to get different kinds of people we haven't seen before that maybe we would believe it was made in the 70s if we saw it on TV. I would say theme-wise, we're in the same areas of things like Rushmore, Dead Poets Society, 70s cinema, I would say Harold and Maude. Definitely going for Harold and Maude. I mean, they even use a fucking Cat Stevens song. Similar to those movies in some ways, but it's its own thing. It's a really cool movie. I'm not flipping over it, but that's okay. That's what I think of The Holdovers. You probably have seen it or you haven't, and you'd like to say something to me like, uh, you moron, you didn't get it at all. I was blown away by it. All that's okay. I'm totally into reading those comments. Please tell me what you thought of The Holdovers. Hopefully I've either piqued your interest in the movie or I've turned you off from it completely. Anyways, thanks so much for watching uh, First Impressions.